Yo, what's up, fam? So today, we'll be doing a little bit more Nuremberg prep. Um, I'll be changing all of my fluids, and then I'll be installing my oil catch can. Maybe changing out my power sample. I gotta see what's up with that. It depends on how far we get, but today we're gonna be doing trans, diff, and my engine also. And so, as you can probably see already, I already got the car on the list. I already got her up. Here she is. And I'm here with my friend Felix. Hey, Felix, say what up, B. What's going on? And his Mustang. I'll be getting a review of that soon. So, today, for my engine oil, I'm gonna be running the Royal Purple 10W40. It's a little bit thicker than the recommended OEM oil, but like just because I don't have my engine oil cooler or transmission cooler or a differential cooler yet, I need to run like a tad bit thicker oil like so it doesn't break down with the heat so much. I'm running a Mobile One oil filter and I got a magnetic oil drain plug right here. I'll be installing to catch all the shavings. I'm running Mobile One synthetic ATF. I know it's a manual trans, but they do take ATF. And in my different rental, I'm gonna be running Max Gear 75W140. Um, and the factory recommends 7590, but just because of the added heat and from track, I just want a little bit more protection, so I'm gonna be running this, but I'm gonna be changing to a synthetic power steering fluid because the stock fluid has been known to boil on track and ruin power steering pumps. And this is my custom Corvette accessories oil catch can. I bought this used off the form, so this should be a quick little install. It's nothing too crazy. It's just two lines and then a mounting bolt. And these are the accessories I'll be using to help me get my fluid where it needs to go. Got a little syringe right here. Got a fluid pump and it got a siphon. I think I'm gonna start with the oil change first. So we'll hop straight into it. All right, so I got everything positioned. So the oil drain plug location is right here. And the stock size for that is a 15. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust that off right quick. And once you break it, it should just be able to come off your hand, but watch out, because the oil may be, be a bit hot, hot, and it definitely will come shooting out. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that drain, and then I'm gonna come mess with Felix for a little bit. Hey, Felix. What's up, man? What you doing today? Uh, leading my brakes today with um, class 200 brake fluid. So uh, we're gonna be hitting up the nerve ring. I wanna Hit up the brake pads a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So you got the stainless steel lines on it? Yeah, I just installed those Okay. What type of pads are you running? I'm running HP Plus Hawk Performance. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I guess we'll see at this little track day we're about to go to. It shouldn't be too bad, man. All right, bro. So all the oil is drained out now, uh, and I took off the oil filter already, and then I let the rest of that drain. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill my new oil filter with oil, you know, and put a little bit of oil around the edges, and just so it seals properly. And then I'm gonna fill the car up with oil. Um, and for those of you, and that's curious, so these cars take six quarts of oil, um, but if you're tracking your car or doing any type of spirited driving, GM recommends you put seven quarts inside. So I guess the more you know, right? So the manual calls for 18 foot pounds of torque on your drain plug, but unfortunately I cannot fit my half inch drop torque wrench on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do like German spec, which is snug, you know, it'll be okay. It shouldn't be an issue. So, and for the oil filter, I filled that up. I reinstalled the hand tight, you know, it's just snug, like nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out now and then I'll move on to filling it up with oil. All right, so I just now got done. We're filling the car up. So I'm just gonna go underneath. I'm gonna check, make sure there's no leaks, no, you know what I'm saying? Like nothing crazy, but, and then that should be all for the oil drain. Oil drain plug right here. That looks good, nothing crazy. Oil filter is installed. Looks good, nothing crazy. So it looks like we're good there. Dope, so. 
got that out of the way, you know. It didn't take too long, so that's what's up. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my old catch pan install. All right, so I forgot to show you guys a really uh, cool feature of the C5. So it has an oil life meter. Um, and every time you do an oil change, you have to reset it. It basically like just lets you know the life of your oil, depending on how you drive, so you're not wasting oil. Doing oil changes every 3,000 miles. So you turn your ignition to the, uh, to the on position, but you don't start the car. And then you pump the gas three times, and then you press like, the reset button first, then the trip button. And then there you go. It says my oil life remaining is 100% now. So I'm all set, and it'll let me know when the next time I need to change my oil. That's my oil catch can right here. And the way this mounts is just like that right there. So like what I have to do is I have to attach like three eighths holes to this to this return right here. And then I have to attach three eighths holes to this crankcase valley right there. The vent hose, it goes to the bottom and the crankcase valley hose goes to the top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and time lapse that. It should be pretty simple and get it all buttoned up and I'll show you guys the finished results. All right, so I'm all done with the catch can install. It went in really smooth. I think it looks good too. Uh, it's just with some 3 8 holes um, and then one mounting bolt right there. So everything was smooth. I'll let you guys see from the other angle. Yeah, it's a welcome addition uh, to the bay. So this would definitely help with my high RPM uh, driving on track because these things do like to eat through some oil. So this would definitely help me out here. But on to the transmission. So moving on to the transmission now. Transmission is a bit different on these. Uh, and so your fill plug, you see the fill right there, is actually where the transmission temperature sensor is also. So you have to unplug this. You have to take out this brass fitting. Um, and with this being brass, it's super easy to break. And you can't really get anything in there to get the proper torque. So it's gonna be a tad bit difficult. Or, or like, at least I couldn't last time because my socket just wasn't deep enough. But maybe, <laughs> maybe the sound would be different. And then your drain plug is on the other side right here. And I believe it's just a 3 h drive that goes inside of there. Just to crack it off, go ahead and change it out. Um, and the transmission holds four quarts of ATF, as you see. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that going. So I got the oil all drained from the transmission. So now I'm gonna need Felix's help because I gotta use this pump right here to pump these quarts of mobile one into the tranny. And then from there, moving on to the diff, then we're done for the day. Thank God, because I've been working on the car nonstop lately. <laughs> Transmission is all filled. Everything went super smooth. Uh, and the syringe I bought, it worked perfectly. Like, like no BS, like the trans was filled in like two minutes. Like, I didn't think it would go that fast, but it really did. Um, and with these, like, it doesn't actually hold four quarts. It's more like, maybe like three and a half. But with these, like, you just keep filling until the fluid starts to come out, so. But I already, uh, I put everything back together. I put in the fill plug. Uh, I put in the drain plug, so now I'm moving on to the diff. So we're at the meat and potatoes now, so we're at the diff. So I'm gonna show you where you have to drain the diff and fill it up. So the drain plug is directly underneath the diff and it is a 10 millimeter Allen key that goes in there. Ah, there it is. So to fill your diff, it's this plug right there. And, and a different rental in the C5, it holds two quarts of 75.90. So it should be pretty simple. My diff is all drained. Um, and I got the bottom drain plug all put back in and torqued down. Um, if you're curious what the torque spec is for the drain plug, it's 26 foot pounds for the different rental. So now I just need to fill it up. And then we're good to go. All right, y'all. So I'm all done for today. Um, I replaced all my fluids. 
doing my power steering right now, but I'm not gonna record that. And of course, I got my oil catch can, so it's a pretty good day, pretty productive. I got everything I wanted to do done, so if you did like the video, please do like and subscribe, because I got more content to come. I got technical and more exciting stuff, like the racing, going to Nuremberg, you know, all that good stuff, but all right, I'm out.